On the banks of an icy stream, running through the heart of the Siberian permafrost, lies a secret never before seen on the planet. This is a little stream feeding a small river in the middle of the wilderness. The only way to reach this site would be by boat or on foot. It's hundreds of miles from any town. It's not just remote, it's nearly inaccessible. While on a hunting trip in search of reindeer, two Russian businessmen spot something on the bank that they think might be a telltale sign of their prey. These hunters spot a small patch of fur sticking out of the ice and mud. They think it might lead them to game, but what they find is astonishing. The fur is attached to the frozen remains of a baby woolly rhino. Scientists nickname the rhino Sasha, after one of the hunters who made the discovery. A find like this has never been seen before anywhere on the planet. This is the first, and so far, the only one. Scientists and archaeologists spend their entire careers actively searching for a find of this magnitude. Woolly rhinos were actually common in the Pleistocene era. Many adult woolly rhino remains have been unearthed at other sites, but baby rhino remains like this have never been found before. The truth is, young rhino remains are almost completely absent from the historical record. It's one of these things that really makes you scratch your head and wonder. We have the remains of other infant mammals from the era. So why are woolly rhino infants so rare? The woolly rhino first appeared on the planet around 350,000 years ago. Like their modern day counterparts, woolly rhinos were herbivores and lived alone or in very small family groups. Little else is known about them, mainly because very few fossils like this have ever been found. Maybe Sasha's cause of death can help us understand why the remains of only one baby rhino have ever been found on the planet. Scientists excavate Sasha from the ice and relocate the body to the lab to find out what might have caused the baby rhino's untimely death. They clean and examine the body, and that's when they make a surprising discovery. What they thought was gray fur covering Sasha turns out to be strawberry blonde hair. The hair color is a really extraordinary detail that we could have never taken from fossil evidence alone. And what Sasha is telling us is that the woolly rhino appeared very different from the rhinos of today. And there's more than just hair. Sasha's skin and several other organs are also intact. This provides us with lots of evidence as to what happened to Sasha and gives us a lot of information about an animal that is at least 10,000 years old. Sasha's lungs and airways are also intact, allowing scientists to make an interesting revelation. There's sediment in both of Sasha's airways. The left nasal airway is completely blocked. That suggests that the rhino could have become trapped in a mud hole. This makes scientists wonder if Sasha drowned. Sasha was found frozen on a riverbank. Perhaps there was some kind of an accident that caused Sasha to end up in the water and mud and drown. But some parts of the story just don't add up. If drowning is the cause of death, we'd expect to see some serious injury or damage to the lungs. That finding would help confirm the cause of death. Scientists continue their examination in search of more evidence that could confirm Sasha's drowning. But what they find takes the investigation in an entirely new direction. 